Time is the enemy, the past it threatens the fastest weapon You wouldn't make it past a second, and that's the question Play it rash and reckless or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent In any sepulchre, poker too, you'll become the putrid It's that wealth that I'm pursuing No mountain too steep, or dungeon too deep To send expandable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath The sea and you, they come like sharks to it While I swim in that money bin like Carl Barks drew it So send your national parks to it I'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top and most of the parts included <sighs> Save your breath for a cleric confessor Death is a lesson, life is a tenant professor But if you're seeking my official advice Sign on the dotted line initially twice Uh, hello, uh, I am Tycho Brahe of Penny Arcade and PAX. Uh, I am also a Manifest Hero Drone, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, but today, uh, I am Jerford K. Horkrims, uh, your keeper, because um, that's what they're called Ooh. in Call of Cthulhu. Nice. Um, so that I should go around and introduce. We don't, I don't have anything clever yet. Am well, I my well, Jerry's keeper? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> for today, uh, and and man, not yours. So we're gonna we're <laughs> gonna remotes. introduce names. Uh, Fly it up. But I don't have anything crafty for you yet. Uh, It'll come organically. Yeah, that I I strongly suspect. It's been a while. Indeed, it's been a we're while. To knock this rust it's, off. It's been a while. To yeah. my right, uh, Digby Bleeker is who I have. Digby. Is that who you, is that who you've retained? Are we gonna? Yes. You sticking you, with that? Can you tell us a little bit about Doobie Bleaker? Oh yeah. Do I have to? Yes, you do. We can't find find out about it organically. There will be plenty give, give of us opportunities. The elevator pitch. Yeah, which is actually appropriate. He's the. Um, He's an elevator magnate. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> how, much, how much am I supposed to spoil? How much are we supposed to find out in the story? Uh, yeah. Like in terms of like when this takes place and everything. You're oh, already overdoing yeah. it. Just <laughs> never mind. Well, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> What? Man of mystery, Apparently. Digby Blaker. <laughs> you gotta wait at least three seasons before you get any backstory out of this boy, all right? <laughs> well, good. We have three episodes, so I cling great. to it. Here, uh, to the right of my right, Willow Dawn Grace. Cattle Ranching Ace. Ooh! Oh, you, oh crap! You were, ready. were you up late? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, I gotta think of something that rhymes. Well, here, here, you, you'll have an opportunity. Okay. Uh, because see how Willow Dawn Grace uh, reacts to oh, a yeah. question about uh, their dealio. Oh, sure. I'm gonna be. Oh, um, well, I said she's a cattle ranching ace, uh, and she is uh, suffered a misfortune, and she is uh, trying to find retribution for that. And that's all I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, uh, to my left is Rose Bessinger. Rose Bessinger. Rose the Wasp Bessinger. I like that. She leads a, a gang of, I would say, criminal misfits. Um, and <laughs> Rose Fun. Bessinger, Death's Messenger. <gasps> ah! All right, yeah, this is. Take it again, here. one more again. Here, I was just, here, I was just gonna say, uh, to my left, uh, Rose Bessinger, Death's Messenger. <laughs> 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 That rhymed. Um, and she runs a uh, she runs a small saloon um, where she takes business and um, kicks kicks names and chews bubble gum. She operates it. Nice. Now uh, to the left of my left, we have Blue Hand. Anything for that, uh, Willow? No. no. Is that I wanted to make it difficult. I thought you were gonna do it. Blue no. Hand, a smooth man. Oh, <laughs> that's a man. Yeah, let's, let's hear his deal. Let's not. hear his deal before we. Yeah, let's hear his deal. Uh, is there is, is there is there any novel okay. is awesome. there any novel nice. historical Zero fact? Deal. Well, you and I were well Whoa. prepared. Wow, he's a, he's, a, he's a speculator, a, pro, a prospector. Yeah. Ooh. And that works, sounds very old timey. Works in the silver mines. Mm -hmm. Digby's a lifestyle brand magnate. <laughs> An influencer. <laughs> An old West influencer. An old West lifestyle brand <laughs> magnate. So speaking of old West, <laughs> selfie with yes. like the, the flash powder. Yeah. <laughs> Jerford, can you tell us about our setting? I can. Uh, I have played uh, over the years. I've played Call of Cthulhu a few times. Uh, most recently, uh, with my keeper, uh, Chris Straub. But I thought that it might be fun to explore a Western theme, a, specifically a wild Western theme, uh, 
for the game that we are going to play. I'm so excited. Westerns are my favorite Here. movie genre, so I was very, very excited. <coughs> I wore my shirt. My if you have your you have your Western garb, mm -hmm. uh, absolutely ready to go. Well, that's that's marvelous news. So I think we have all the basic information except for obviously the deeply mysterious bleaker scion. Oh, no, I told uh, you over here. <laughs> <laughs> lifestyle brand. Yeah, lifestyle brand. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, before we continue, though, thank you for that timely point. Um, uh, I'm going to read this message. Uh, prepared by the Shadow Chancellor uh, herself. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> big squeaks. There's like a saloon. There's a there's very a saloon, saloon aspect saloon to door. it. Ambience. It's fine. Ambience. Obviously, Ambience. I'm talking about Alyssa Grant, who very recently came back from there. But uh, on the weekend of January 17th to the 19th, uh, the Australia based not for profit Generosity. Uh, we'll be hosting a stream event benefiting the Fire and Rescue Services, who are currently battling the bushfires threatening the residents and wildlife of Australia. Oh. All Twitch bits of this mini series uh, will be directly donated to Generosity's efforts. Give generously. Yes. So put that. Yes, absolutely. Give generosity. Think of, think of the koalas. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so, are we ready to dig in here? No, no, no. I'm so ready. So, uh, hmm. let's start. Uh, over here, uh, to the, you know what, which which way? Which way are we going to go first? Because I got both of them. Well, we can do it. You can go any which way. Because um, I'm ice cold right now. Yeah, here. Yeah. Well, here. warm up. Well, yeah, me see. too. Let's warm you up. Let's warm you up right now. Like Chris. We're, we're, we're literally going to warm you up like Chris. Um, so. Dig up your pants. Uh, is there any novel historical facts uh, about Blue Hand uh, that you would like to reveal? For everyone. Boy, unfortunately, I think it's the, the, I don't know what town we're going to be based around. Uh, the town that we are operating out of is called Promise. Okay. I would imagine that uh, Blue Hand, Mr. Blue Hand. Yeah. Is a colloquial name. Indeed. But has some operation set up on the outskirts and is perceived as uh, not, a, not a snake oil salesman, certainly. <laughs> But <laughs> har harmless enough. Why is he called Blue Hand? Oh, because uh, here, let me. Get, should we meet? Let me do it in character. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's do it in character. Uh, absolutely. Uh, this is uh, the moment that we are uh, opening up on here. Uh, is actually from long ago. Uh, you suggested in your uh, rigorously prepared character information. Uh, that Blue Hand, now uh, a prospector, now somewhat in control uh, of their destiny, but having grown up as a child mining silver uh, deep below the earth, uh, surrounded by much larger uh, folks. Uh, and uh, I would like to establish a moment in that timeline, uh, if we could. Sure, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so there are, and it is unfortunate certainly to consider, but there are places where, uh, places in the earth where there is a kind of pragmatism uh, to having a small form. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result, uh, there were always places uh, have you ever been, have you ever seen these shafts? Like the <laughs> old, like the old... Harry. The thing. old shafts. Yeah. <laughs> Cobwebbed. Have, have you ever actually seen like Vascular. a... In a, like a mining museum? Or, veins. Or, a, yeah, for, yeah, veins is, is perfect. What, nothing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a word in. <laughs> so, I mean, but have you ever actually seen <laughs> what what they were being asked to do. Oh, it's awful. No, thank you. God. Nightmare. No, I was in, I saw it in a museum context, <laughs> and I had to leave. Oh, wow. Like the claustrophobia of it? I had to leave, and I was, it isn't like a museum thing where it's like, hey, why don't you go into this hole? It's like, I saw the hole over there, Yeah. and the idea that someone would have to do it, uh, much as 
this young, the young man that you were was required to do it is a lie. I don't like this character. Uh, <laughs> we roll. I don't want to do this. <laughs> um, scary. Too tight. <clears throat> um, uh, is a lot. But there is, and, and we can, these, any of these flashbacks, we're going to play um, in a way that you can interact with. So don't, it, it isn't, it isn't, I'm not just like on a stump relating, you know, I mean, at any point, um, uh, I am actively soliciting your uh, presence inside the scene. Mm. So um, imagine a, a crevice that itself is like the child of <laughs> a larger crevice, neither one of which uh, will allow the passage of the men that you work with. And so, and there is a, a kind of affection for you in this cadre below the earth that is the result of your uh, cleverness and your capacity to smell it down uh, in this place. And you find in this silver mine, tucked, I mean, cocooned by the earth. Uh, occasional drips of water uh, striking your forehead and running down your face as you work. You find something with a different gleam. Mm. I, how old am I? Uh, right now, I mean, I only have the information that you have here. Let's figure out how old right now. now. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, if I'm small enough to be of use. I'm thinking two. maybe <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. Yeah. Those little baby hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slow, but powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the natural the response The soft bones that can just get right through <laughs> any. Well, no, it's just like a wet paper towel. Just yeah. <laughs> tug him in there and you're ready to go. You go use a rope around their waist. You go fish. Just dredge it. <laughs> yeah. Just wipe it clean. Y'all are sick. He comes out with fistfuls of treasure. <laughs> you love, look at you love it. I do. <laughs> uh, so, is he eight? Yeah, I was going to say about eight, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, is it, can I reach it from here? You have to work, but you think that you can. You might be able to get some. I would have my, my meager tools with me uh, to, to chip away at it, to get access to it. Maybe it's maybe it's too deep in. Why don't you give me a dexterity check? Let's Ooh. ease in. You suggested that you were cool. Yeah. Uh, let us in warmen you. Where's my percentile dice? Yeah, I was just gonna say we actually we get to use percent. I actually have a percentile dice, like because it's always like okay. What does it mean if I get zero zero zero? Right. Mm -hmm. And it's in this game it's a hundred, mm -hmm. but one never knows, right? I actually have. Like a percentile dice. Like a D100? Like the D100. Oh. There's two reasons I did not bring it. One, um, it takes precisely 10,000 years <laughs> for a hundred sided <laughs> dice to decide which face. That's yeah. fair, yeah. Um, also, it was significantly gnawed by rats. <laughs> uh, honestly, that, that makes it the perfect dice for this. Yeah, I should have absolutely. Mm -hmm. I fucked this up so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? Start over. Bring your Sorry, you know what? Right. I was just you can bring it for the next episode. Hello, I'm Jennifer Cameron. Okay. Anyway, yes, absolutely. So here are my red dice. If, if you toss these, <laughs> so what, what I'm looking for, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna test this dexterity. All right, here we test, go. Test that dice. Uh, which for blue hand is quite good. Well, what are we looking at? We got a uh, we got thirty nine. Yeah. Oh, so that's below. So what's your, that? That's below your 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 good one. That's even below my my mid tier success. Exactly right. This is very very good. This is what we would call a hard success. Yeah, so to so speak. Hard. I mean, already it's like Bring we cannot escape perversion just, on this there's show. A, there's a sexual tension at this table that you could cut with a knife. It's so real. Uh, sorry, there's an eight year old in mine. <laughs> <laughs> And I am. We're insane. trying to fuck him. We, we need to fucking reel it in. Flash no. forward first. <laughs> right. um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucked. Uh, a father will be proud. <laughs> oh no! But, father with, will be proud. With this, it's just right in uh, 
the small pick they've given you for this sort of labor. Um, and it, it chips in and pulls out. It's so different. It's so different from everything else that, that you collect and are paid for. It is almost like caramel. Really? Like it gleams and glows, but it is pulling out and like stretching out of this crevice. And as it does so, as that tension is applied to it, you can see it casting a light around you in this small space. Mm. There seems to be no upper bound to its light. So incredibly bright then. I, I'm remembering what my, what my father is always saying, that, that all good things come from the earth. <laughs> all things, in fact. And I am I'm drawing it back and out, and maybe if they're listening, they might hear some like excited gasps from me. <clears throat> oh yeah. And so uh, immediately as soon as the as soon as your breath begins to catch um there are uh faces sort of amassed like just in the crack uh looking in. Um uh you can see two men, men who have been kind to you. Uh and certainly they've given you the best picks. Mm -hmm. Uh of these uh, these tiny places, I mean that's that's where they find out where to dig next, mm -hmm. uh, and you can see them them uh, peeking in, looking at each other, thinking that something might have occurred uh, that might have a long term effect on your ability to bird dog uh, the riches of the earth for them. Mm. Uh, I would, I'm just gonna call up to are they, they are they have lamps are they shining them down on. <coughs> Uh, they are, they're, they're holding them up, but uh, they set it down quickly. No lamp is required. Uh, it's this is like a, a, a lambent mm -mm. Uh, environment. It is not, it is not silver. This but you've, you've always its own seen, light. Indeed, indeed. And you've, you've always seen, and this is, this is uh, just, just something you know about yourself. You've always seen there's a couple colors that you have always seen a little bit differently than others. Mm. Uh, taught to, born in this fashion. Um, it's hard to say, but you uh, know sometimes, taught by your father, uh, to show things, show new things to others, arrive at a consensus. Um, utilize their sensing um, to determine the true color of things. I see. I see. Yeah, I am. Um, what's my, like, the orientation of this crevice? Like, um, can I crawl back out? Yeah, the, it? yeah. I, the, the worst way that I can think of it is going to have to be the way that we use. So you are head down. Of course. You have had to crawl in head down. Uh, left arm out deep to scrape this rich new treasure of the earth. Uh, so you can you can sort of spider crab your way um, out. This is not your first rodeo, for lack of a better term. Yeah, if I'm able to like bring a a measure of it. Uh, back, like even if it's just on the end just of the pick. Just on the tip. Yeah. Just on the end of the pick. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, it's like molasses. Yeah, is it, it's is rich it and that where sweet. It's drawn, like, no, 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 where it draws off almost to a, a filament mm. uh, that waves you know, sort of seekingly uh, in a light breeze. What, what did they think of it? I've crawled out. I, I, I say that like, there's there's more of it. I don't know how no. much. This is a tussle fest. Mm -hmm. Like oh. as soon as you come out, the hair interactions are elevated. 
I mean, this game doesn't even have the capacity to render mechanically the amount of hair tussling and congratulation nice. that is being delivered. That's what one of the men's jobs is exclusively. <laughs> that's ninety nine. Bring all seventeen ninety nine. Bring old Tussley out here. <laughs> I'm coming. Hey, hey, give me that boy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just the barrel. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here I come. Oh, you did a good boy. job. Yeah, you would. You're in for it, boy. <laughs> here comes Tussley. You better run. Get along. We're looking for that, we're looking for that double tussle. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> that was a lot for me. <laughs> The imagery? The voices. It's Tussley. Tussley. Oh, you're gonna get more of that voice. Don't worry, that's the only old timey prospector voice I got. Yeah, I'm a coming. It's very good. Give me that give me that little head of that boy. Wee! You did good, skimp. Scout. Peanut. But what is it? Peaches. Even amid all of this. Yeah, exactly. But what is it? No, Tussley. Hang on. But what is it? Peaches. So you so you uh Bring out uh, the pick, reorient yourself uh, to you know traditional up and down mm -hmm. very briefly, and then uh, realize that the the pick itself is uh, oriented incorrectly for them to see it. Yeah, <clears throat> and as you turn it up, and as that, so what do you say as you as you reveal it? So I'm, I, yeah, I've, I've said, uh, while I was still in there, I said, it's not silver, <laughs> it, but it's, it's, it's sparkling, it's glowing. Uh, and now once I've, uh, uh, I, I do say like, it's, as I'm exiting the crevice, it's like molasses. Yeah. And now I've held it <clears throat> such that no, they can yeah, see. And it, and it is sweet. It's sort of begun to, uh, as it was held down, it had begun to sort of gather itself up mm. into a droplet. And then as you turn it over, I mean, it's like it's being plated in a Michelin restaurant. I mean, it's, you're preparing this uh, material to be observed. Uh, and <clears throat> you can tell, it's like for you, it's something like, it's almost like a green mm. light. Mm -hmm. It looks to be, uh, like an almost a uh, emerald green in color. It's not. Uh, and it <laughs> and it prank <laughs> intensifies. Uh, only eight. In you can t like you you can tell that it it has begun to glow more fiercely out here in this wider area. <clears throat> I'm looking. I would be looking expectantly at the at these uh, at their faces because I don't. I mean, I've done this for a little while. Yeah, a minute. And obviously, I don't know everything about what's down here, what this means. Is this a value, or does this indicate something else valuable beyond Yeah, it? exactly, exactly. This is all these, um, there's all these just indicators, all this wisdom down here yeah. uh, that we can use to chart a course. Um, what happens as it's revealed, and you sort of present your you present your case is that uh, one of them raises their pick and you look up to get, you look up for the desired information <clears throat> and he puts the pick directly into the other man's head. What, what does the other man do? <laughs> Not Tusley. <laughs> he killed Tusley. <laughs> ah, you got a pick in my head. Tusley is not a canonical character. No, he's not. No, he is, yeah. <laughs> you tell that to all the fan art. No, no, no. This, this is going to be. This is, is, he, as he grasps for the, for the pick, he died as he <laughs> lived. Tussling, tussling his own head frantically. His own hair. To find. Tussling his brains back into his skull. Oh, jeez. He knew that the prophecy meant that he was going to die tussling. Yeah, every day. Every day. Every day I'm tussling. <laughs> this is, is this, have, has it taken you 23 minutes to generate this show's Tony cereal? Yes. Is that the, yeah. is that what's happened? It's the first of many. Yeah. Tony He's cereal. got a big family. Tony cereal is 2019. Tussling is 2020. Yeah. <laughs> 
Give it that <laughs> energy. It's 2000 and late. <laughs> <laughs> so My good yeah, friend Fergie once as, said. As I see this happen, uh, and now he's tussling his, his yeah. injury, uh, yeah. as a child I go, <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. It's, it's scary, but it's a little. Well, bit it's funny. funny. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's not um, understandable. No, Tusley is safe. These two men, or I'm horrified. Right now. Yeah. This is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I backed up to the crevice. What is the? What does the guy look like who who did the picking? Um, he has put it in here, and he is holding it with his right hand, mm -hmm. and then. The person who's, the person who has received these ministrations, doesn't even blink. Does it's he, a, it's a Phineas Gage type situation. They don't react to it. Doesn't react to it. In fact, he is now raising his own pick toward the other. The one who has the one who struck first is. Now reaching down for your pick. I. Jeez, I think I would let them have it if they want it this bad. <laughs> um, I have. Um, I probably would have dropped it in shock. If he wants to pick it up, it's on the ground now. Uh, as I've as I've sort of pressed myself back up against that the surface with the crevice in it. Nice. So uh, these two have have entered into this vile sort of dyad, where every movement of the first is guiding the movement of the second, who has continued to try some kind of a riposte, but is just being guided around as though by a kind of rudder uh, of the pick itself. Is this is the other? So he was reaching for the pick. Is he now that? Yeah. So if you, so now that now that I'm aware that this pick has actually been dropped mm -hmm. on the ground, um, he will kneel down and pick it up, uh, and he holds it very near his mouth. Oh. Uh, I am, I am watching, and I am also now looking around to how did we enter this space, and how may I leave? This yeah, this <laughs> is. If that's got all his attention. This is marvelous. So you are near the, you are near the, the end here, uh, of this shaft. This is a, an exploratory vein, right? Um, you are, uh, you know perfectly well how to escape this. Mm. I, yeah, if I can at least like scramble beyond to the point where, let's say this, I'm, I uh, scramble away a distance to where I could still see. Yeah. And I have to look to see if he, I'm being chased? No. He's just still there with it? No, it is in fact, it has left the pick altogether. Um, you can see it's almost like steam. Uh, the material is almost boiling away, even, even in the, the cold dampness of the earth. The temperature of the miner is enough to boil it straight away off the pick. Uh, and you can see that the pick is completely clean. Hmm. Is he is pulling <coughs> away? He his... has dropped the pick now. Uh -huh. It pings first off one side, then the other rings until flat. And he is now dragging the other man by his head out of this part of the cavern. Does he, has he made eye contact with me? I think at that point, no, I mean, if I were an adult, 
we might have a back and forth here, like why or what's going on. <laughs> an eight-year-old no, blue it, hand is running. Imagine that whatever, whatever color this is, whatever color they have seen, you can see it. Imagine uh, distant lightning striking against a thunderhead. You can see that light in bursts playing inside the man's mouth, off the teeth, wow. through the cheek. And the eyes are like glass. After a few more steps, the pick comes clean, straight through the skull. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I've, the, the hint of any of this, the rotation <clears throat> of this person, the, them, him starting to guide the pick out of him, I've, I've tried to exit this. Absolutely. Right uh, you run, uh, you know what, this is, this is easy too. This yeah. is absolutely easy to do. Give me, give me a con. Let's, let's test your con. All right. <clears throat> what we got here, con? Uh-oh. I'm seeing a 90. <laughs> yeah, no. That's, that's, good. that's 97. That's far above my con it is. score, meaning a horrible failure. So you are... Um, collapsing every few feet. Just the, uh, the smooth soles of your shoes... Um, slipping where wet rock is exposed. Well, we've always taken it carefully <coughs> here. I'm running yeah. for my life. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I don't know how to do you, this. and so you are, and you're essentially just sort of ping-ponging off of the sides uh, on your route up and out of the earth. And uh, you collapse, you pull yourself up on uh, a box uh, on a on a pile of crates near the edge, uh, and just so that the camera can see, um, uh, right on the front of the box, it says dynamite. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what's in there. Yeah, exactly. This is Acme. <coughs> you could brand. TNT. Yeah. It, you could, it's recognizable by name. Dynamite brand pillows. <laughs> 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 it's like, this isn't useful for mining at all. Um, uh, so uh, other uh, other men in the mine are, they think that something else has happened down here. They think that you are running because they should run also. Yeah, I think I would just be shouting like, <clears throat> like he's dead, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something about that's as much detail as I'm gonna be able to get out. And where's my dad? Yeah, so you his are. Father. So you are. Uh, you go down under a heavy stampede of work boots. Um, <clears throat> until does your father work with you in this mine? Uh, I would say he's. Sometimes he's on site. I hope that he is today. If he's but, not in you know what? We, there's, this game actually has a way of determining things like that. No, impossible. It does. <laughs> no, it has a very specific way. Uh, roll for dad. Tell us about it. No, it's What's the dad. The way? It's the dad skill. Um, <laughs> just roll two d ten, two dad ten, and then no, no, no. Um, there are th things that exist outside of skills and stats. Yeah. This game has a has a mechanism for determining if you are lucky. Yes. Oh, and this, the mechanism is called luck. It's called <gasps> the luck set, yeah. What? <clears throat> now, obviously we can you can use luck uh, as we used in the Australian campaign to shore up stats. Right. Uh, I mean, to shore up roles that are close, but obviously you're burning that stat that you might need to check against mm -hmm. in the same way that you need to check against it now. Right. Uh, you're quite lucky though. That's true, of the group. Which I haven't met yet, because that's like forty years off. Or what's your luck? Yeah, what's your luck? 70. Oh, it's a seventy. Oh wow! Yeah, lucky for you. It's it, maybe it was the early exposure. <laughs> lucky booger. Oh, lucky! Oh, gosh. oh no! Well, here's a good opportunity for me. Okay. Okay. So, 
Oh wait, can I? Here's the question. Not I can't luck. spell it on spin on a luck roll. For no. Track. Okay, so I'm just <laughs> past it. I got a seventy-five. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, he is not here. Uh, to he is not here to help you. Um, what I would like you to do is give me a dodge roll instead. Ooh. Ooh. How do I do it? Don't worry. There's dog. Oh, it's there, right there. here on the left a side. A dog's right roll. Not a dog's roll. <laughs> you beast man. It's a dog's roll. You roll two dog ten. <laughs> All right. Did I? Do I? What am I dodging? I guess. <laughs> but don't worry. A dog. <laughs> it's a, it's oddly. It's one of those dog. mind dogs. <laughs> No, this one is also a failure. So my dodge is uh, 40, and I got a 64. So also failed. Now, if I wanted to burn 25 luck, Ooh. I could I could Woof, But just a dodge and a flashback? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, it's, like, it's like high game you know Ryan here it. with your yeah. crazy tips. You know what? I you go survived. back in. Yeah. Unless you come no, kill me. This isn't a flashback. <laughs> That's the hook. You're like eight through this whole campaign. That's pretty great. No. Uh, but... Here is how we will say it, is that you do go down. Um, you look hard uh, for your father's silhouette in this rush. A uh, nailed boot comes down hard on your ankle. Uh, and it's an, it is a slight twinge that you have to this day. Um, but <laughs> you were able to pull yourself up. Write that down. Uh, you were able to pull yourself up after this. Um, you were able to trail uh, that group of men. <clears throat> and then as soon as one sees you, I mean, they know you. And they help you out. Yeah. Um, and as you find your way to the mouth, uh, this blessed craw of the earth, framed out as it is um, in wood, it is not. It is not twenty seconds before an explosion rocks this mine to its guts. And you die. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you don't die. But how's my dad? Not this time. <laughs> dead too? Oh, he wasn't oh, here. Dead dad. Again. Dead dad. You didn't see him. Not again. He's oh, playing with matches. <laughs> Which is something he's given to do. In the, in the dynamite tent. <laughs> so that is something that happened to you. Okay. Uh, I will remember. <laughs> no, Looney Tunes. Hands will remember this. <laughs> Looney Tunes taught me that I would. I thought I would grow up and come across a nitroglycerin more than I have. You know. Yeah, I only saw I, it in my grandfather's like heart. I've never patches. seen it, and yeah. those, those cartoons would be to believe. I thought I'd be seeing it daily once I got older. Quicksand. Yeah, I've never seen quicksand. Not a bit. Not even mm -hmm. once. Mm -mm. Absolutely. Uh, Rose, <laughs> <laughs> I support you 100%. Thanks. But I do need to go in and I'm going to put J's. I'm going to write J's wherever there's a G. Wherever there's, oh, you can call it, you can call it Bessinger. That's Well, you that's know what, maybe it's a regional thing. Sure, yeah. But, but Coke, in, Coke invariably, Coke. the way it's going to work is I'm just going to change it every time that's I fine. say it. That's fine. We have to avoid it. Uh, where do we go next? Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go for let's go for you, Rose. There Rose, now tell me a little bit about the saloon. Where in time are we past this flashback? How many years have passed? Um, that happened. That happened when. <laughs> Thanks. You're eight. <laughs> that happened when he was. That happened when he was a fair bit younger. Okay. The You're current, eight. You own a saloon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, this this right here is occurring according to the sheet that you have in front of you. Okay. So we'll this is this is we're gonna. This will be an opportunity for us to sort of bring the camera in, you know, into the sort of main present street. Day. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. the present day, by present day, of course. Um, 18. Well, uh, exactly. Okay. We're talking about middle of February. Oh. Uh, 1867. 1867, what state? Promise. This is in Northern California. Okay. So February in Northern California is pretty cold. It is indeed. Presumably we're there for uh, a gold rush. Well, this is, what well, you're either there for a gold rush or you're there to make money 
off of on the people the who are there for the gold I mean, that's rush. That's why Rose is there. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. That's Wait, why Rose is there. There's a couple. 1867. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> there's a boat, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a. There is. Uh, times are changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been established in Promise for a good long while, and I was one of the first residents. Um, uh -huh. Once it was established as, like, this is, there are actually people who are getting rich here. Yeah. That, that tends to attract um, a, a certain uh, underbelly, I think, to, to a town. So she, she brought her the, the remnants of whatever gang got chased out by... Well, chased out of some other town. I'm going to say Texas because I really yeah. want to do a Texas accent. No, um, so she got, she got chased out of Texas by the Rangers. And uh, if they were around in 1867, I don't know. Let's say they were. Um, and so she has the been... Texas Rangers. She's been on the run. Yes. Yeah, I've heard about that. The yeah. baseball team. Not the baseball team. No. <laughs> Not the baseball team. The first I was being held by the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the list. Yeah. Um, so she ends up in settling in Northern California when she hears these rumors. Um, she has owned this saloon for uh, five years, um, and she is a <clears throat> she's a pretty major part of the town at this point. Um, but the the saloon it's legit enough. She just happens to do all of her business out of it as well. Um, the rest she, the rest of the business. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, a certain amount of distillation. Mm -hmm. Not a hundred percent what you might call legal. Well, I mean, out here, what's a law? <laughs> There's not, you, I don't see, I don't see the fuzz. Yeah, it's about, the law is about who you know. Exactly. Out yeah. here, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it's such a small town, and these prospectors, you know, they got to get their grog on. So I'm, I'm just, I'm willing to provide the strongest grog that they could find. Absolutely. Um, so you are, and, and this, this grog comes in. Uh, from you have multiple still operations. Mm -hmm. Even though it's even though you're not gonna get, you know, hauled into the huskow, mm -hmm. uh, which is an old I the right word. Y exactly. That, I mean, that got me right into the zone, w the 1860s. Yeah, exactly. With that, that huskow thing. Here, here, so what is the does does the saloon have a cool name? Um, or is it saloon? Because I mean, that's that's a says, no, that's a recognized brand for sure. It says on the outside, it does it does just say saloon because it's yeah. the only one in town. Yeah. Um, but the her her um, her locals call it the nest. Ooh, this is set down for a spell. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, so you are uh, you have multiple operations. Um, in terms of manufacturing what you need to get going here. And absolutely, you're not you're not gonna end up staying overnight in jail for this, but it is required uh, just as part of this understanding that you not, you know, distill in the middle of the street. <laughs> uh, I have to pretend <clears throat> I'm hiding it. Everybody yes. has to pretend um, that they're hiding it. Sure. Um, and you have a, a ready supply uh, of young men and women out in this uh, neck who keep this place stocked. Mm -hmm. And you are running low on stock and restock has not been um, forthcoming. Is that unusual? It is profoundly unusual. Um, have I done any kind of investigation to figure out where this <coughs> um, stocking you is? Can uh, at first, it, it, was a, it was a multi stage process mm. that got you to this point. So let me go into uh, let me go into some of the frustrating small business owner, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> chit chat. Let's do it. Right. So you have two stills in town. Okay. And you have two outside of town. Okay. Um, and they are, in, in every one of these cases, you've done what you need to do. The ones outside of town, they've, you know, it's in a cops, right? You mm -hmm. know, it's sure. like, it's, it's tasteful. It is tasteful, right? Um, it is, they're designed in such a way as to provide, you know, the bare minimum. Uh, of, and of course, the swarm protects. 
Swarm protects. These, these zones, and so we it's painted not, them to look like trees. It, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a it is a hilarious joke for everyone that works for you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but about two weeks ago, because it's it's a process. It's very very young, dangerous moonshine. Anyway, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, we we don't age that shit. No, 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 no. And there's no time. No. Um, and you know, there's not a barrel situation. So what happens is about two weeks ago, some of your people started changing the recipe. Why? They said that uh, they were just doing what they had heard people wanted. There's people, there's people farther south. Uh, they're kind of setting themselves apart. Uh, I don't care about the people farther south. They, they just, they want, they don't want you to get caught unawares. You know. Do y'all really think, <laughs> y'all really think I'm gonna get caught unawares? Caught underwears? <clears throat> caught underwears. <laughs> you gonna get caught on some underwear? Says, Mama. Yeah. Don't mama me. Don't mama me. You're over here changing my recipe without my permission. What do you what do you think this is? You think this is your business? Who's been running this business for a decade? Mama. Where were you a decade ago? Mama's running the business. That's right. Mm -hmm. So why are you changing my recipe, sweetheart? Well, I just I, I'd hate to I just hate to we won't change the recipe no more, Mama. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think you will. I don't think you will. Now, I will take a little sample of what you changed it to because I'm just morbidly curious about what they're drinking down south. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it, even inside the bottle, there's like a little, it's almost like there's a little silt or something down in the base of it. Okay, and this is unusual for... Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, it's all, it looks like water. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but there's it looks like down it. there. Okay. So this cloudy 1860s ass bottle. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm, and I'm it's swirling just, it. And it's like you can sort of hear. Mm. It's like um, uh, like rock polisher grit. Yeah. You can sort of hear it like scraping around, around in the around bottom. In so uh, what all did y'all add exactly? <clears throat> it's just, well, we added. Now the, they're saying. They're saying mm. that it's got, it's good to have something like a, I don't know, mama, something like a terroir. A terroir? You putting terroir in my water? <laughs> just a little, just some of the, some of the earth of the place. Set it apart. Maybe you want to expand your operation. Maybe people hear about what we're doing up around here. Uh, Rose doesn't know. Maybe they want a big mouthful. Rose has no idea what terroir is, but she's going <laughs> to, she's going to figure it out from context first. <laughs> Neither. Does me. <laughs> <laughs> Neither does me. Well, where are y'all even getting this terroir from? Well, from, you know, from here and there, war. I mean, we got, we get, we get a little bit, we just take a scoop, just put it right in the old top, gives it a rich, you know, minerality. All right. I, and I take, I, I look, top the top off, I'm like, this tastes like licorice. You're fired. <laughs> All right? Because I don't want nobody drinking none of my licorice. No licorice. I'll take a sip. I love it. Uh, why don't we just do a con roll real quick? Oh, crap. One thing to know about Rose is that her stats are garbage. Well, no, 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 your con is actually lit. Is is lit. It's all right. It's not. I wouldn't say it's lit. I did beat Ooh. it though. Just just the top the top level. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't get Rose, it crazy. I got a thirty-two. This number. You're trying to beat. <clears throat> it's this one, and then also these for extra. It's warm. Mm. It's warm and it's good. Now you're not getting, you're not deriving a licorice. Good. It's not, it doesn't have an herbal cast. Okay. Do I like it better than my original brew? Be honest. Let's see. No. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Cool. One second. I take a sip. You know this tastes like horse piss, right? <clears throat> well, that's a, you can you yes. taste it. You tasted it. <laughs> you, you did it, you tasted the horse piss. <laughs> we had a bet going. No. Uh, it's just, 
Uh, all right, we won't we won't put in any more detail. No, I don't think you will. <laughs> I don't think you will. And I understand that this took place two weeks ago. This exchange? This exchange. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Since then, no more uh, product has been incoming. Okay. And slowly but surely, the sort of daily churn of swarm members mm -hmm. that have been passing through while you run the operation. Yes. It's probably three days now since you've seen anybody. <sighs> All right. Anybody? Not even Sweetheart? <clears throat> Not even Sweetheart. Well, fuck. Now, you had sent your nephew, Declan Bessinger. Declan, okay. Um, it's possible, what, is that bad? That, no, it's, no, it's, bad. it's possible, um, that's like, that's like your trusted, that's who, that's who <laughs> solves. <laughs> Everybody's got one. <laughs> but that's who solves these. These problems for That's me? That's who solves these problems. When did I last see Declan? Uh, that was probably about a week and a half ago. Oh. You, had, you had basically applied him to a task. Okay. As soon as you started to feel, as soon as you started to feel this vibrating out of your hands a little bit, you applied him to it. Okay. But it's, is it unusual for him to be gone that long without writing or Absolutely. sending a telegram? Okay. No, a week and a half is bad. All right, so then- It's bad news. For three days, basically, I've been at the bar, at the saloon, just like- Waiting, yeah, I mean, and, and people are coming in, and it's just like, and it's like every time somebody, every time someone buys a glass, it's like, you just feel it. Yeah, okay. Like, oh, it's, it's like looking for seconds. I'm like, we don't really do seconds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so I got no swarm. I got no Declan, and I got no product. Then I'm just like rare and mad. That's that's what I, I I don't know what else to do except I can't leave the saloon. I can't leave the moonshine unsupervised, and if I don't have anybody here to help me, then what am I going to do? So I'm I'm just I'm just pissed off talking to myself all the time. When somebody comes in, I, 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 I'm not even nice because I don't want them to buy anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough to serve my customers, so they come in. I'm like, what? What you want to fight? Do you want do you yeah. want to fight right now? Sure. <laughs> so this is actually this could not be more <laughs> yes. This this couldn't be more optimal. Oh good. Uh Mr. Bleeker. Mm. Uh, so you have so tell me a little bit about yourself, your look. Tell me about your kit when you come into a new place. Uh how are you presenting yourself and what are you there to do? Um yeah, so Digby Digby Bleeker is the, I guess, uh, timeline timeline wise would be um, uh, a dis or one of the early descendants of um, antecedent. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. antecedent. Yes, intestinal. Yes, uh, a polyp of sorts um, <laughs> <laughs> of uh, Donald Bleeker from the game we had in Australia. Oh, Ooh. so Donald was able able to like. Well, this was this is Digby's like his grandfather, great grandfather. Oh, so, okay. Digby yeah. got it. Digby, Digby got it. Digby yeah. has a family back in Tuscaloosa, <laughs> <laughs> and he's in California. Yep, sure. Yeah, that so it's happens. by way of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I, I can they pull out the map, and it's like the dashed line. And yeah, it goes up here, and then yes. Sure. But he's a he is a traveling uh, salesman of all sorts of uh, potions and herbal oddities, which is which by the standards of the time essentially means morphine. Yeah, I mean opiates. There's oil. <laughs> is it gotten from snakes? Yes. 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 <laughs> In other places. Do you know how hard it is to get oil out of you a snake? You know how hard it is to oil a snake? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta oil him first. Well, yeah. <laughs> Try that. You gotta catch him. Then you gotta get a rapport with him. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta take him out. You don't just do... You don't oil a snake without the snake <clears throat> being into it. So they, that's... Do you know how hard that is? You know, it was weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's, that's his whole thing. I'm just imagining him pulping snakes. Yeah, just pulping them. Yeah. Just well, the, but, but I mean, it, by 1867, you're using 
a snake pulper at least. It's yeah. not, yeah. it was a manual I think, I, I mean, it's called the Bleaker snake pulper. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a family invention. You know yeah. the Bleaker snake engine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just feeds <laughs> her. <laughs> but yeah, so he's got a lifestyle brand. Excellent. <clears throat> the, the Bleaker brand of products. Yeah. Excellent, okay. okay. Called <laughs> Slop. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, there's the tie-in. See, that's good. Thank you. Mm. Thank is you. it? Are they pig based for real, or are they snake based now? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Which is <laughs> little, funnier? <laughs> little of this, little of that. Pig based. Pig oil. Well, yeah. yeah, it's hard to get snakes out in California. No, no, it would it's the other. not. It would be. Oil. They have the to junior, upgrade the pigs. Yeah, pig oil is a whole new thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm out there. <laughs> Do you, you don't think I know? Yeah, you don't think I know? <laughs> He's grinding. I'm living it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you tell people it's pig oil, but you can't find enough pigs. It's just snakes. It's just oh, snakes. No. It's just snake oil, but in a pig-shaped glass vial. <gasps> it's just, oink, oink. I mean, oink, oink. honestly, I can't even find pigs. It's just fat little kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. From a distance, if you back squint. To, back to blue hands. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know the difference. If you squint. Where are my fat friends? Little, fat little boy looks like a pig. Sure. You don't know. Why That's not? No. <clears throat> so you have heard... Uh, there's many towns out here who are in desperate need of your morphine. Mm -hmm. um, it's pig oil. Yeah. It's pig oil, yeah. Yeah. Pig oil. Pig morphine. <laughs> pig what? It's mineral oil, fatty yeah. oil, capsaicin. Hold, did you? Turpentine. Did, did you write down Don't a few ingredients? Don't give away the family recipe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the ratios? It's you can the say the ingredients, but you'll never yeah. know the ratios. Exactly. 100% um, capsaicin. And, and you have capsaicin. heard. Turpentine. Um, <laughs> out here, obviously there's many towns that that could take advantage of what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. many, many times that you could ring out, not like a snake. Um, yeah. Or a fat little child. Yeah, exactly. Fat little kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to derive value. Um, <laughs> but you have actually heard um, that at a little place here in Promise called uh, The Nest, it's a, a backwater <laughs> shithole saloon. Yeah. Excuse the daycare. <laughs> Yeah. Me. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's not a wasp well, nest, not it, like a chicken nest. Right. Oh, well. She's the wasp. Where's the wasp? Conde uh, nest. She has to explain Conde this like nest. three times. She has to explain this like three times a day. Yeah. Fine. But people try and drop their kids off. Like, no, uh, pick them up later. What do I? They're, I'll turn them into criminals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but trust me. But you have heard uh, that she makes something of an elixir out this way as well. Mm. The uh, proprietrix. Oh. Of the nest, uh, a Rosalind uh, Bessanger. 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 Mm. Uh, out here, maybe French. Oh, probably. Um, but something to consider. Uh, there's there's a certain patina, especially in larger towns. Yeah. Around French goods, um, but there's something something she puts in there. Uh, you've heard it called sprightly. Mm. It's uh, something. Lyman. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a, it's got a little, it's got a little kick. Yeah. It's got a little kick. So it could be a situation where maybe there's an exclusive, maybe yeah. there's a distribution thing, maybe there's it. a, exactly Pink right. Carbonation. Bring that stuff yeah. back. Bring that stuff back your way. Make some money. Uh, and it is with that idea, that uh, tradition of greed, um, that you swing open the squeaky doors mm -hmm. uh, of the nest. Uh, and see someone who clearly uh, runs the place. Uh, what do you want, child? How, how old is Rose? Is Rosie is age. She's probably, I mean, in, in, in Earth terms, she's like yeah. 60. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But 180? She's, she's like 180. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still, still the, the, the grandmother. The soul, yes. The grandmother motif. For sure, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so enter Digby Bleaker. <laughs> What tell me? Bonjour. What, Digby, what is <laughs> Bonjour, Madame? <laughs> what does Digby look like? I really want to know. The is there a mustache? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. According to his. Picture. Oh, can I see? Here, I got. Yeah, yeah. I got it right here for you. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank Chris you. Chris did the picture. Oh my God. Yeah. He's a. Ah, oh, Rose couldn't hate this more. Yeah. Oh, he's a punchable face. <laughs> <laughs> I would describe that as yeah. You could punch, punchable. and it would just. Nestle in. We just oh, rest there. You leave little, it there for a while. Little, little, <laughs> little half wink you got going on here. Yeah. He's an affable sort. Yes, he's very affable. You say bonjour, madame. Bonjour, she goes, madame. She goes, I don't serve Europeans. Get out of here. Oh, I don't need to use the facilities, my dear. Perhaps your mother wouldn't be home, would she? 
<laughs> young lady. <laughs> That's that laugh is in character. <laughs> God, oh, tickled. She, she yeah. is. Uh, she is not. She is not at home unless you count the grave. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, I me leave. too. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <then. Yeah. laughs> Uh, but yeah, so what what can I do for you, sir? Uh, I, Monsieur, Madame, I'm looking for one. What? How do? What's your last name? Rosalind Bessinger. Rosalind Bessinger. I say <laughs> it like that. You say Rosalind Bessinger. Rosalind Bessinger. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, like think, mandibles around the word. I don't particularly uh, understand who's asking. Uh, oh, myself? <laughs> Digby yeah. Bleeker, ma'am. Oh, all right. Tickled uh, to make your acquaintance. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just look at it. Just do hands. Mm. Just. Interesting, interesting. She looked at Digby Bleeker, Digby Bleeker. That does not ring a bell. I gotta tell you, Rosalind, um, she might just have to, I, you might just have to leave a message for her, darling. I would be delighted to. Mm. Do you look like a Pinkerton to me? <laughs> so I'm just like, no, this is this is nothing. This I'm, is, I'm never yeah. never gonna see this guy. Um I say, uh I am I was told by a very reliable source that she was the proprietor proprietor. No, it's better wrong. Uh, her her pieter. I heard she is the pie person of this <laughs> <laughs> delightful establishment. Who told, who told you that I love to make pies? Uh, where did I get this info? Just scuttlebutt. Well, you, you have. I mean, there's other people selling Bleaker brand. There's an old man, on the edge of town. He's in a barrel. He keeps scruffing people's heads. Delightful character. He told me. <laughs> Are you talking about? Har Harley Scruffler? <laughs> uh, the very same, ma'am. Oh boy, he and I have had some good times together. I got to tell you, that yeah. barrel is full of surprises. Yes, yeah. Tussley's old boy. Oh, Tussley's Tuss 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 little boy. <laughs> Tussley's son. Oh, Tussley's boy. Um, well. So then you would be Rose. Well, perhaps I am. And what's what's? Oh, so you lied. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> this is fun. Sweet. <laughs> Sweetie, y'all, you won't get very far telling the truth in this town. What do you want? Yes, it's quite disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Let's get you out of here. What do you mean? Yes, let's. <laughs> I would like one of your uh, delicious, do they have a name? But, <clears throat> sprightly, it, it was described as- I will have a Sprite. Something that they, it, it has some <laughs> ingredient, like whatever she's putting out here, there's something unique about it. Whatever you're putting out, I'm putting in. Oh, I'm not. Give me a sprite. I'm not in the mood for that, but um, I am fresh out of sprite. I can give you a little taste, but I'm currently ma making a fresh batch, and it's gonna take a little while. But I can give you taste. Is Sierra Hold list on. okay? Sierra. <laughs> No. You, you, Except no substitution. You no, know it's very not. Much. It's you know it's, a it's fresca. not. It give me a fresca. Is. All right, you can have a taste. But that's it. Delightful. All right, so in a tiny little shot glass, I pour like ooh, half a finger. Okay. Now, this will knock you on your ass, boy. Oh. And uh, you might want to take that fancy little top hat off before you fall on my ground. You hear me? All right. Boop. He takes his hat off. <clears throat> and he takes it as like <laughs> limp wristedly as possible. <laughs> a little delicate like, mm. grasp. <laughs> and then like. It goes down no. into the cup. Yeah, he like no. laps it like a cat. Like, oh, no. This is why I do not serve Europeans. <laughs> yeah. It's the French style. Yeah. I'm from Connecticut. Oh, <clears throat> you know. I know. That's what Lately. I said. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, that's the Sprite. Hopefully it, it quenched your thirst. Does it, does it do anything? Does it just taste weird? I, I think it destroys your thirst. Okay. <laughs> Takes a, a slight hammer your thirst. Yeah, you're quenched as well. <clears throat> Yeah, I the, declare. The, the I do declare. Con save? <laughs> it's got, con no, save no, no, for him, quench. no, no, for him, for, for Digby, I think, although, I mean, does Digby use a lot of the oil? 
Does he use a lot of the does products? He get high on his own oh yeah, he does. I mean, and I, the, I, the, I hesitated. The tragic irony in. is that yeah, he's got a bunch of like <clears throat> things. Everyone hates him. No one trusts him. And it's it's snake oil that works, but everyone doesn't trust. Oh no, that's the, that's the rub. <laughs> yeah, so he actually has good working products, and everyone's like, Fuck he's you. just a sleaze bag. <laughs> yeah, or they're just like, you're just so weird. <laughs> you're just a weirdo. Well, here be. For this purpose, just because I think it would be right in the moment, I would like you to grab your percentile dice uh, and throw them for your cone. Nope. Which is health. Oh. Well, well that's a nine. Nine. 90. One. Well. And my con's a 78. I, I'm looking at your con right here. I know what your con is, and it's, it's below that. It's a 78. <clears throat> so. You're a con. Oh. Man. Yeah, exactly. Hey. 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 From con. Connecticut. Confidence. Connecticut. Yeah. You like confidence. So you so you insert your proboscis down into the cup all the way. For a few for a few tentative laps. <laughs> and you lose all like you lose all control of your body. Alright. I piss my pants. And shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and c- collapse in a rubbery heap. <laughs> but you took your top hat off. <laughs> my, my, hat, my hat's on the bar. Okay. No, but the a hat pile is... of noodles in my own piss and shit. <laughs> the hat is pr- <laughs> <laughs> the hat is pristine, but but the oh. beverage. <laughs> but it, it is it is it is <laughs> it is as they have described. Yeah. After a few seconds of insensate terror and numbness. Mm-hmm. When you return, I have the top hat on, and then I yeah, then I push myself <laughs> so back up to back the bar. Up and the hats on, same expression. After oh. like twenty seconds, it's just like <laughs> this. They did not lie. Man, I shit my pants. <laughs> they always do. This is delicious. <laughs> I must have more. I must have the recipe. Oh, that's not possible, darling. That's what they call impossible. It's the opposite of possible. It's just not gonna happen, ma'am. You have no idea what I'm capable of. <coughs> Difficult takes a day. Impossible <laughs> takes merely a week. <laughs> it takes but a week. Yeah. I am no businessman. I am a business man. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. 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 Yeah. It's gotta be business ma'am. <laughs> Let him handle his business, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking missed you guys. <laughs> oh, you know what, we have fun. We like to laugh once a day. <sighs> Gross. <laughs> I, um, so yeah, I mean it's it's moving now. Yeah. I mean you your thoughts, it's like the spring shoots, those first lovely little plants that strain against the soil and see the sun. Like your thoughts are racing. Yeah, um, and taking inventory as I look around the inside of the place. Like, yeah, does it look awesome? <clears throat> yeah, does it look awesome? No, this place, yeah. I mean this is it is this is a frontier spot. To so, be sure, but it should be said that it's clear this is a trafficked area. It might not look it right now, okay. but but you can you can rewind time and see this place full of people just from the where. Um, I'm I'm trying to uh, identify something for a trade. I'm saying, but oh. if you, it looks like you got traffic, I can't offer you that. It's like, you had mentioned there's. Um, you had mentioned uh, supplies running a bit low on this delightful sprite, you call it? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe there's <laughs> something else I can offer. You can, is this the only thing that you sell here? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, no, no, no. My dear, there's, there's shelves to be had here. This, this should be reserved for the best of the best. I can offer you distribution. I can offer you other goods, maybe middle tier, lower tier, and then you save this delightful sprite for the top tier. Listen, <clears throat> maybe you can help me. I am not interested in your goods one bit. Here's the thing, I look around conspiratorially as if there's anyone else in the place and there's not. <laughs> there's, like, there's like somebody, but they're asleep and they just cough in their sleep. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> This is shit. This is what shit themselves. of shit. This is what you call a front, a criminal enterprise. Yes, a the front. front of the house. It is. This is a front. <laughs> here's the. Here, I don't need any more business in here because it is a front for criminal activity. However, 
<laughs> if I do not operate under the guise of a legitimate business, then I cannot be considered a front. I am only a criminal enterprise. Therefore, I do need you to go get my shit. You equipped for that, Dudley? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just like brushes his piss stained <laughs> jeans. <laughs> his pants, I don't know what the hell he's wearing. My jeans are piss stained. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my own character. Oh my god. I'm peeing in real life. You can't smell it? You pee in real life. Yeah. yeah. That's clean, you know? It's like, it's like so clear when it comes out. Mm hmm. You die in the game, you die in real life. Fish pants game. Fish All right, so you're gonna go get my shit. Yeah, I said I would. And you need to find my nephew. He's anything else. <laughs> you want a fucking list? Is that what you want from me, Dimbo? <laughs> and this ends with. You can have a barrel of my stuff, and if you, if that's more than enough to figure out the recipe, if you got two brain cells to rub together. Hypothetically, <laughs> <laughs> let's say one didn't. <laughs> oh, well then you might be out of luck, my friend. All right, I'll find your shit, as it were. And my nephew, Declan. <clears throat> I'll give it my best shot. Mm. Mm. You're gonna need help. <laughs> What? <laughs> You're gonna need help. Cue other characters. Yes, yes, I got it. Who we win? Tarnation. Don't you? Oh, no. Are you warming it up? <laughs> me help? Is it time? <laughs> me help? Help me? Is it time for Willow Dawn Grace? It might be. I think it might be, Jerry. Well, I don't know, man. I think it might be. I can stay here for another hour. What's up? <laughs> there, let's, <laughs> let's get it done. So when you no, I meant really. I want to sit here. Oh <laughs> no, don't, no, 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 I was gonna I, have to teach him English. So that's I'm for sure. excited to help. Who needs help? <laughs> no one can understand the word. Rolling through about. town. <laughs> can you just change your character to playing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can yeah. do double duty. Yeah, Alyssa, okay. is that something we can? Can you? Can, we just can you whip up a tussle? Can we make a tussle? Right, right quick. Character card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> if you would be so kind, uh, Willow Dawn Grace, as to describe for me. Uh, we're not. Okay. We are. I, I haven't, not. Doing one I haven't done mine yet, and I'm kind of like I don't know if I want to. I just wanted to do okay. a Texas accent because I love accents. Okay. You know how much you oh. live with me now. I mean, you I guess I could make, I could quick accents. pivot, make Digby's voice Tuscaloosa the voice. <laughs> no, <laughs> <He's> not. He's from <laughs> Connecticut. Digby's perfect. He's from Tuscaloosa, oh. apparently. Yeah. I'm from West Connecticut. Yeah, I'm from <laughs> the deep, deep north. <laughs> I know you can do an accent, Tristan. <laughs> yeah, I can. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. That's what That's we need. That's extremely good. We want That's a Don Grace accent. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? From Fargo. No, from yeah. Fargo. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sure from we'll Fargo. have all the colors. Yeah, no, they did. They margin. drive it north. They always drive it north. They do. At Lonesome Duff. That's what they do. No, she's like, I don't know. I don't know how to quit you. There Whatever. you go. That's it. Oh, got it. Yeah. Right. You also go with mom. Just go with the no. It's, it's yeah, mom's Italiano. Special. Mom is special. <clears throat> Maybe Agreed. I'll just imagine that I have a voice. No, no. There is there is precisely this much pressure yeah. on that front. Right in here mm -hmm. in this zone. All right. Now, <clears throat> so what I would like. So you have described yeah. uh, a tragic scenario. I wouldn't call it tragic. <laughs> I mean, it's actually it is. It's pretty devastating for her. And her way of life. Traditionally, that is how you roll. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so there is a <clears throat> a missing herd. A missing herd. A, a, the whole herd of cattle. Of cattle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we are going to go, if it's all right with you, to the moment where the herd was lost. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Can we, can we play through that? You're right. I love this. I love <coughs> asking me permission. This is the 2020 energy yeah. that I'm bringing. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I've got some cards over here. If you 
Thank you. Um, a sympathy card for yes, me? Yes, exactly, the exactly. X, X card? Uh, no. So oh. this is, uh, we are entering in on a, let's say, I mean, in my mind, the energy, the energy of a 14-year-old Willow Dawn Grace yes. is so savory. Uh. It's what we need to survive. <clears throat> Tell me how Willow Dawn Grace, uh, describe Willow Dawn Grace's raiment. Yeah. Right? And what are her responsibilities here on the ranch? Um, so, sh one, I'm gonna say there is fringe involved. <gasps> oh, God, thank no, you. No, that's just thank how you. it should be. Um, back this is so natural. Back of the jacket, along the arms? Uh, along the front. Along the and chest? On the, in the back. And oh, excellent, excellent. Um, tasteful. It's very tasteful, uh, and it's a red jacket, and it's seen some wear and tear, um, and she's got a brown hat with two feathers in it. Oh, oh yeah, I can, I can see it Incredible. shift back Incredible. over the, uh, the neck. Uh, yes. Um, so she just looks like hell. Like, um, <coughs> she, uh, like, moves with the cattle to all the different spots that they go to um, to feed. And to she graze. camps with them and lives with them and um, kind of lives like a pretty solitary life, except for the cows who she may or may not talk to for her company. Um, She's 14 doing this by herself? Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. I, uh, I, I can see that 100%. Definitely started it like doing it by herself by 13. And yeah, exactly. Like, oh, so cool. her, and so the, the tasks, generally speaking, I see them as sort of being split up between you and your father? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to picture the situation so that we can do it correctly. Yes. Um, as it happens in here. <clears throat> um, Would it be your dad? Wouldn't she not know her dad if this is one well, in another world? This is this is this is why I'm I'm this is why I'm trying to 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 work it out. No, it would be her mom. Yeah, I was just gonna say. So maybe he. Were left you just with, gonna say? He, he left, said dad. Well, no, I'm saying I'm saying I'm just trying to picture the whole thing. Uh, Jeez, I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, because because I know, um, I know if it was gonna echo walnut, like how that would be. But I didn't know how much of an echo it is. No, if, let's let's make it. Echo if her that. dad left. <clears throat> Her mom would need someone. This to, is awesome. Yeah, like this. Cattle, right? I want to watch this movie. Me too. Bad. Me too. <laughs> right? Awesome. Yeah, and Willow's like, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll figure it out. All right, so Willow. Dad, dad gum it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Willow. Willow. Now, all right, Willow. Let's do it this way. Willow. <clears throat> so, um, you are. Uh, we need we need a name for your horse too. Roach. No, Roach. I'm joking. No, it's not Roach. No, Roach is so good. No, it, that's the Witcher. It's a premium horse. So? Um, the name... The name's Witcher. For her... <laughs> Witcher 3. Horse. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> you right. I'm here, Willow. I'm Thank here. you. Thank you. Um, oh, it would be Panna, since she just calls her Pan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cute. Oh, Pan. Oh, Panna. 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 Oh, God. And you know that the horse was, like, named Young? Oh yeah. It's one of these situations, like it's one of these names that like a child has named them, but then it's stuck. Yes. Um, or then if you're anything like the people at this table, you ennoble it later by making it <laughs> seem like it's a cognate. Right. So Yes. Um, I love all of it. This is how it goes. So you come back uh, uh, from being out in the lower fields. Mm -hmm. um, you return and you can see that at the front gate, um, you can see uh, your mama Mm -hmm. uh, talking to two men. Now they have come in a fine carriage. Oh. A fine black carriage, the like of which you have not seen uh, in all your days. It is, it's a team, a teamed horse. You know what I mean? Like it's. Do they look like city folk? Well, they look like have city they folk. They, they look like, like, it's like a, uh, you know, carry a rich man to his funeral type thing. Oh. Mm. Well, I don't understand what they're doing here then. Is it ostentatious? <coughs> it is. To a fault. Yeah. So <laughs> they are, but but they are, uh, you're you're riding up close. Yeah, yeah. And you can, uh, and they are talking to your uh, mother, like at the front gate, mm -hmm. near where the, um, uh, near where a substantial portion of the herd um, is being kept. It's just one fence away, basically. Okay. Um, so I would like you to give me a listen check. Now your yeah. listen, your listen is not is not super good, but there'll be something good in it for you if you can deliver it. You don't know. If you listen. 
It's my percentile dice, right? Just listen. Yes. Oh, uh, but I do know. Hello, listen, lady. Yeah, listen, lady. <laughs> I got problems. Ooh, that's good. That's a five, right? Yeah. Willa. So that's really good, right? You want to be under. You want to be under yeah, all of them? Yeah, I got under my, not all of them, but Nine. I got under uh, my second one. Cool. Ooh. A great, a great, a good hard success. success. <clears throat> a hard success. It's a very, very good success. Very hard success. And so you can um, essentially triangulating between your mother's body language mm. that you know well mm -hmm. and um and just what you just so you can carry off of uh this conversation as the voices are a little bit raised mm -hmm. um <clears throat> you hear her say i done told you i'm not selling this hurt bad grammar mm. um what do the men look like uh they both look uh they have Black jackets. Okay. Like long black jackets. Mm -hmm. Tough guys. Shorts, okay. curves. Trail. Yeah, yeah. Shorts, long. Curves. They got tentacles <laughs> over their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have a. They, <laughs> they have a. They have a, a name tag. Mm. I am Cuth. No, no. <laughs> this isn't. That's not how it works. Oh. It says you can't do that actually in this game screen. Um, They're calling on you, and Kith it is and Ulu. call of. No, uh, no. So they 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 both. Um, have uh, removed their hats and are you know, holding them close to the chest. Mm. Um, and it see, really seems like only one of them is doing the talking. So I roll up next to uh, the gate and I don't say anything to them. I'm just kind of like, my little 14 year old self is just like posturing up on the horse. Oh yeah, yeah, right up on it. And uh, like, like hand on the. Like I kind of lean on my horse a little bit, and then uh, I spit very near them. Nice. Like <clears throat> at their feet, but not on them. But I spit very near them, and okay. I don't do a good job of it. Are you like, is it just spit, or do you have to chew? No, it's not. <laughs> it's just spit. She just knows that adults spit sometimes. She doesn't really know why, <laughs> but she does it. She knows they get mad sometimes when you spit. Yeah. They go. <clears throat> nice. Pew. Um. So you you spit and you know present. Just make sure that they are conscious that you know that there's a, another player in this game. You know whatever it may look like, you're here to back your mom's play, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and uh, again, uh, the gentleman to the left sort of gently taps his hat against his chest. Mm. And says, you know, we, uh, so did your dad die? I don't know what happened to my dad. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Say, so, but we had an arrangement uh, with the man of this ranch uh, to come away with what we came for. Uh, I say, um, I say, uh, I'm gonna try it, and it's just gonna be bad. Do but it. just, just be nice to me. I love life. it. I love it. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna say, it. give it. Uh, uh, ain't no men on this ranch. Yes. <laughs> this is this is this is the greatest game of all time. Ain't got no men. <coughs> ain't need no men. Yeah. Ain't need no men. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, not even one. No. Oh, um, sorry. And, no. say. <laughs> and say. so, uh, the the man who thus far. Uh, has not deigned to speak, um, opens his mouth, and what is inside his mouth is not teeth. What is it? It is light. Ooh. Oh, and I say wood and tarnation. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear something like a, it's, it's, it's like a, a whistle. It's like a, imagine a, like a whistle, like a, like a no, 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 not, not a slide whistle. No. <laughs> but like, like a high pitched whistle, but it pulses in volume. Oh no. <clears throat> um, and uh, your mom turns around mm. and goes to the shed. Oh man. And you know what's in the shed. Lots of guns. Is it what's in the shed? Guns. 
Okay. And the tools. And the tools, right. And uh, four chickens. And grandmother's rope. <laughs> That's um, right. <laughs> and so, and so they, they wait, uh, sort of shift their boots in the sand outside. Uh, and when she comes out, she has a shovel. Okay. And she goes out to the front of the gate and she starts to dig a hole basically at their feet. And she says, Willa, I need you to get a shovel. I need you to help me dig this grave for Mama. And Willa says... Here, this is a sanity check. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay, great, fantastic. Would love one. <laughs> I like You're asking Jerry, and I say, <laughs> what? What, do you, what, do I say? <laughs> what do I do? This is crazy. <laughs> tell me what, tell me what happens next, that's nuts. <laughs> oh no, I got a 77. What's your current? My sanity is 65. That's good luck. luck. No, that's it's, amazing. It's better if I don't. <clears throat> well here, use flashback. me, this is, no, this is kick ass. This is this is what we want from this game. Now I need you to roll a D ten. Because that's dog ten. It's which finger you lose. Because that's gonna tell me how oh. much sanity you lose. Two. Oh. All right. Not as bad as it could be. You just take two points off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mew. <clears throat> Mew. Not as bad as it could be. And so she says, no, go on. Go on. Go on, get. And I say, go on, get. Uh, and I say, uh, I say, Mama, this is crazy talk. What are you doing? The sounds that come out are garbled and wet. And she just begins to drool into the hole she has begun to dug for herself. Whoa. Um, so my horse is probably like really freaking out Your horse, right now. The, it's the whistle. Yeah, okay. The whistle, it's beginning to, it's beginning to rear up yeah, so, and kick. It's all you can do to keep uh, Panda down. Uh, uh, yeah, I am, um, I'm struggling with her uh, and I'm looking at my mom and I'm like paralyzed because I do like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, um, but uh, I'll I'll jump down off the horse um, and go to my mom and start just and just shake her, because I'm I'm like, this is not this is shaking my like my rock is my mom. Oh no, yeah. So seeing her turn like this, rock <coughs> is your mom exactly. And so the rock is your mom. The, the rock, rock is, is your my mom. mom. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne. Dwayne, what are you doing? Uh, no. What the heck are you doing? What the heck are you so, doing? And I say, uh, I say, New York City. I say, Mama, stop this! You're scaring me. Um, two men emerge from inside the cart, and they move over to the gate, where the vast majority of your uh, family's inheritance and livelihood. Are stored. Um, I'm still trying to. No, 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 exactly. So can you can you just give me a brawl? Can you give me a fighting brawl? Can you give me a brawl? Can you give me one of them fighting brawl? Yes. Give me that brawl. Fighting brawl. Okay, I got it. Big money. Oh, too big. Small money. money. You want? Small oh no, wait. Money. I got it. Yeah. I did it. I got a thirty-seven. Absolutely. You punch your horse. <clears throat> no. So you, it's a. It, it becomes clear, at the beginning, like. She, she's not, she can't see you. So oh, I want goodness. you to tell me what you do to get her to snap her out of it. Um, well, I try shaking her and then I try holding her uh, and I can't do it. And so then I just straight up slap her. Um, and I just say, uh, I say, mama, snap out of it. <clears throat> so she she stumbles and she's able to, you can see that she clears like a cloud's part for a moment. And then she throws the shovel into the yard. Hmm. Um, and then she's on her hands and knees and now she has to dig with her hands. All right, well, I'm clearly it's, not- Yeah, so, so as just, 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 just one, one aspect. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, the man who spoke previously. Yeah. 
looks down at you and says, he will not speak your words, for they are poison. He is the true words, though. Do you understand? I point to the other guy with the light in his mouth, and I say, it's him? <clears throat> says, yes, yes, I'm the tongue. Do you understand? Uh, and I said, uh, I said, no, I get it. <laughs> and uh, I leave my mom, and then I start beelining it towards the guy that did this to my mom. Absolutely. Um, uh, the two men... Before you can get close, sure. uh, the two men who have opened the gate and now cattle, your livelihood, are now leaking out into the world. Sure. Um, they grab you arm in arm, both side, and the uh, cows are led out um, away from the farm. Uh, I'm just kicking and screaming and, like, trying to get a punch <clears throat> and I can't do it. No, yeah, I mean, definitely give me a punch. I mean, I, you, she should, she is, she deserves this. Is this another brawl? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hey, 420. Nice. You oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Number of the beef. You bring that spur. That's the sex number. Like, that spur <laughs> goes, nice. like, straight into his... <laughs> Calf. Nice. Just back it straight up no, on No, not him. the calves. <laughs> no, 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 they're young. <laughs> they're and, young. They're young. And so you, uh, you're you briefly able to um, escape. Uh, and as they lead them out, um, uh, the rest of them all begin to filter back uh, into the cart. And there is a look from the, from the man who spoke to you. There, he casts a glance back at you that is full of pity. Hmm. Like, like the way that you would look at like a senile old man or a very young child, like someone who is uh, benighted but through no effort on their own. If they're just hmm. contained in something that they can't get out of. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, what I want from you now, I would actually like a luck roll. Because, let's see how this turns out, right? Oh boy. Ugh. You got this. Oh, 28, my God, my luck is 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. These are great rolls. <clears throat> the other half of the herd is in the lower pasture. Whew. Fantastic. So, but that's still, uh, a lot lost. Like no, it's grievous. It's too much. It's grievous, but it's not devastating. Okay. Um, the only, the only comfort you have, is that 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 entire herd is marked uh, with the double X mm-hmm. of the ranch, and so <laughs> if you if any time they move, any time they move through this region people will know where they came from. Mm-hmm. And they'll have an expectation as to their, as to their legitimacy and provenance. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, that worked out pretty good, I think. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, your mother is, needs taken care of now. Yeah. Um, so you had, you had already you had already been forced to labor perhaps beyond your years. Yes. And now you have another creature mm-hmm. in some ways to take care of. Well, and then I'm assuming that I can't properly like wrench the cattle with her to take care of. <clears throat> like you, I can't I can't do both if she's in the state she was just now. There is a boy. Uh, farther into town, into Promise. Okay. Uh, named uh, Declan Bessinger, mm. who uh, spent a lot of time. It has the arc is this. Spent a lot of time. It started out with the occasional tease, mm-hmm. and then as he got older, um, he started helping and taking tasks on. Wherever 
he felt confident that you would see him doing the work <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> until uh, at around age 18, mm -hmm. uh, he makes his uh, he makes his affections toward you known. My presumption is that this is uh, this is not mirrored, uh, or it is mirrored appropriately for uh, walnut, right? For willow. Yeah, for willow. Yeah. How dare you? Who's walnut? Who's who's, who's walnut? walnut? Oh. It, that's, it's come full circle. Um, willow's just anytime, uh, like maybe if he made that affection known. And she, it would be like quiet for a second, and she would just crack up. And yeah, she'd be, she'd this be is like, awesome. This is so like, legit. Oh, you're pulling my leg. You're so funny. You're so funny. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and we have fun. No, and, and it and it doesn't. <laughs> this it's, guy. It's fine. This guy. It's fine. Okay. Eventually, you come to hear that uh, you know he might have been seeing someone in town, but he never mentions it. Ooh. Um, and you're like, oh, it, <laughs> <laughs> the one that got away. Yeah. Essentially, but there is. When you need help, mm -hmm. it just he has a reputation. He's got a soft spot for yeah. me. He does. Now, in the last week uh, and a half or so, uh, you haven't seen him around, mm -hmm. um, but you just you just cut the herd and uh, you know run them yourself. It yeah. takes longer, but it's it's something that you've done your whole life. Okay. All right. So is is her mom now kind of a vegetable? Uh, it's nothing like that. <clears throat> it's nothing like that. She's just a husk of a person. It's mournful. Oh, sure. uh, sometimes there's mournful singing. Mm. Um, mostly, mostly just quiet. Mm. Mostly just quiet. So I think that in my mind, at least, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of there's a lot of keeping her apprised of the situation, letting her know the. Um, the successes and failures of the day. Mm -hmm. And she's a kind of diary now. Just like the cattle were. Exactly. It's like talking to a headstone that sometimes talks back. <laughs> <laughs> a breathing headstone. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, well, listen. There's a lot, obviously there's a lot that's been going on. Um, a lot of heavy, uh, a lot of heavy content. But uh, it's okay. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah? Yeah. And the reason Phew. I think it's going to be fine... I was ready to bail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to fuck yeah. out of here. Um, no, the reason I think it's going to be fine is because uh, there is uh, a barn dance tonight. Oh, thank God. You know what going to ask? <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be... I mean, it's a situation where... Um, I mean, opportunity to move a lot of product, mm -hmm. right? Uh, revelers, typical uh, target for this type of thing. Um, as far as uh, you go, Rose, somebody from the somebody from the swarm. You're going to see some of these wayward children, right? Uh, as soon as those barn doors open. Um, it's about to happen, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, Blue Hand, there's a party in town. Yeah, there's only so much time I can spend crouched in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blue Hand, what are you up to as an adult? Yeah, what's the what's the uh, the situation? It's like you've had a long time now to think about uh, that and to hear your father's words echo for you. Like, have you found anything like that again? Have you seen anything below the earth that made you, uh, that forced you to recalculate? No, he didn't. There still has been no opportunity for me to do my Daniel Plain View voice. <laughs> but, because. Do it now. I have to do it when meeting somebody because okay. this, that language is so like big. It's and so and broad. Presentational. Well, this is why that, we need a barn dance. Yeah, this, that I can't actually. This is why we need a barn dance. <laughs> finally, the you answer. You know what? Yeah. It's, it's like, I, I can't present inward dialogue in that voice. But he, uh, he spent uh, all his money on prospecting. He owns plots in various places, and all his money's gone into that. And so he's always trying to uh, find like other. Uh, leads essentially. So is, he, is, is it 
purely from the mineral, purely on the uh, the wealth aspect, the business, I, the prospecting aspect, or does he, at some level, does he think that it's still down there? Oh, it's yes, it's an excuse to find. He wants to find that that honey, yeah. that color. And he's, um, it's like house poor. Right, he owns all this land. He has no money, no cash. Okay, so it's, 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 there's nothing to rob up here. No, right? Yeah, yeah your assets say five dollars. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the, and he looks <laughs> like he's not. It's very shabby. What he's got on. And we we just call you Blue Hand, right? Like the, yeah. the townsfolk, we call you. Yeah. We've dubbed you Blue Hand. It's euphemized because because. Did you want to play that out at a scene or? We can do it in a scene. Okay. We can go to the to the dance. Okay, because we'll there's some dance. new people. Okay, at least one new person. Yeah. Exactly. That's true. Setting up a stand outside the barn, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Selling drinks, <laughs> water. We're well, gonna get thirsty to dance. <clears throat> That's true. <laughs> it's Am I here? It's, it's hot in there. Yeah. I mean, do I think I'll find Declan there or something? Well, the, the truth is, you haven't seen him for about a week and a half, mm. and you've been putting it on. But the truth is, is that you know, you need. That masculine you need, embrace. You, you need help. Uh, you, you you need help, but it's also not it's also not like him. Yeah, mm. and some things only a man can do. Yeah, yeah. so that's sometimes. true. Men can be anything nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Men are strong. <laughs> they are. Too. I know they can also. have it all. Well, they don't have your opinion, but <laughs> they don't have the stat limitations anymore. So it's yeah. like, it's no problem. Yep, it's just twenty twenty baby. Right now, twenty twenty baby. <laughs> twenty strength. Twenty yep. cons. Yep. Um, so, so absolutely. I mean, there's there is incredible opportunities, both mercantile, social, and otherwise. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Rose, yeah. are you are you going to uh, lubricate this event at all? Of course. Uh, with some of your I have your store. I have some of the uh, some stuff that I've been keeping around that wasn't so good. <clears throat> I, obviously, I want to keep the sprite. Where I can control it because that's that's my that's my my real stuff. Absolutely, I, I don't have nearly enough of that to to lubricate a barn dance. The, the, I mean, these the, the, these the children can is, drink. When it comes to the sprite, the truth is, it could it could be a lot of water. Oh, that's true. And it I could water it down. Still pack a punch. Okay. Um, I maxed the I maxed my role here yeah. for what we might call your um, strategic liquor reserve. <laughs> oh, good. And so, in addition to what you have, uh, you know, in the nest itself, you have kept four barrels. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so go ahead and write that down. Four. Uh, because barrels. it's a okay. it's a powerfully useful yes uh, thing to own okay. for sure. All right. So I would. I would d- heavily water down like half of one of those barrels for this because even if I can't find any of the swarm, I can probably figure out what <coughs> people who have seen them. So I'm exactly, gonna, exactly. And this barrels. is and this is here. Let me see. Let me see how this goes. <laughs> Let's see if this goes my way. It does. Oh. The sheriff himself, uh, Gordon King. Gordon loves like my ship. absolutely. And so he rolls up to the nest <laughs> with the back of the cart empty. Yes. There's like a. Thin, just a just like a thin ragged cloth. He doesn't even cover it completely up, and then he's he and then he he just slaps the bench uh, <laughs> up on top. I hop up. I'm like, you mind if I drive? <coughs> he a says, joke for the C team fans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he, he 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 takes some he takes a moment like hesitantly, and then he says, oh hell. <laughs> he drops him on your lap. Oh, good. And, and it drops him on your lap and then really plays up the relaxation opportunities. Really snuggles into that wood he, bench. He, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just becomes a liquid. He tries to put the arm around, and I'm like, no, nope, not so nice. No, no, but it comes back up, but, it's, but, it, but it, it goes on here, but then it comes back up at exactly the same rate. It's, it's like the film has just no, been reversed God. at exactly the same speed. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's, he's worth a try, worth a try. Every time. Um, so uh, by this time, uh, the barn uh, has begun to fruit um, with locals. Okay. Uh, inside, uh, hay has been arrayed. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. They're an optimal, and it's this still... It's going to be a good night. It's Look still... But yeah, I was just going to say, no <laughs> expense has been spared. Mm. Incredible. Uh, Incredible. There's hay. There's hay. There's hay, y'all. What else do you want? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, as we go into... Uh, I mean, the, the truth is, is, it's February. Like, being close, being near other people is good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This, this is this is a good time to be around others, to be sure. I tell the sheriff on the way over, um, I watered down the shit in the back. But if you want, if you want, <coughs> that, you want that good stuff, I did tuck a little bottle in, in my bag. <laughs> my satchel got the, his hands I got a the, few I times. I got the real shit. I know you can handle your your shit, so you you can come get the real stuff. Right. He says, "Are you still putting that shit in there?" <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. That wasn't me. It was never me. You gotta get hold of these boys. I Gross. they they think they think something about down south. And listen, you know what else? You know what else? Now we're talking. <laughs> why now, don't you, Why don't you tell me? Well, I I ain't seen none of them boys for what going on a week and a half now. And he says, "Well, Rose, now you know what? I mean, they his boys. I know these boys. I know they're gonna do their thing. But listen." They usually check in with me every single day because at the very least, <coughs> they got a steady paycheck here. If, why, why aren't they coming to pick it up their money? You can uh, hear the heel of his boot sort of slapping against the, uh, the floorboard. And he sits pensively and he says, you know what, maybe I'll go looking. Would you? I would. Oh. Thank you, Gordon. I would. Thank you, Sheriff. I would. Sheriff Gordon, that's Sheriff, right. Sheriff, Sheriff King. Gordon King. Sheriff, Sheriff King. Sheriff King, an NPC that you named. And oh. No, no, it's right here. I know. It's, <laughs> I know. You did it. You did it because you knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Rose, I know who you are. I know the kind of trouble you get up to. I know the kind of trouble you get me into. That's why I got to have a name for every goddamn person. <laughs> Trevor? <laughs> yeah. Oh, only, Trevor is here. I got names for every person, but I only got the one voice. <laughs> now, yeah. That's fine. We're all um, from the same place. <clears throat> exactly. So, barn doors are open. It's warm inside. Uh, the smell, mm. uh, the reek, if you will, um, of hard, hard, Fucking. new, clear whiskey. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Fully available uh, within. Who's coming when? Who's coming when? Who's coming when? Who's coming when? Who's coming and when? And when? And when? Who's coming and when? Um, uh, I think Willow is very prompt, mm-hmm. and I think she would be like, I love, one of the I love first it. to arrive. <clears throat> the sun's not even down. Yeah, right, Willow's just there. So She's like waiting you, outside. It'll be even better. So you let's, let's say that you get there. Mm-hmm. Before you get there with everything else, mm-hmm. like sun is, the sun is up. It's like it's gonna be sundown. Yeah, it is not sundown. It's not even golden hour. And so, yet. so you you step into um, you step into the uh, just the body of the barn inside, mm. and um, uh, up on a sort of middle deck uh, inside the barn proper, mm. um, you can see. Uh, a woman with a thick uh, mm. blonde, nice. like, just like a, like a thick blonde braid. Everybody shut up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a thick blonde braid, like a like hollow bread. Like this is a lot of hair that is being that is that that has had to be laser focused. Yes, um, and she is there uh, tuning her fiddle by ear. Um, well, we don't get much music up at the ranch, uh, and by much I mean any. Mama's singing. Yeah. Well, it's, mourn- it's those mournful, mournful songs. Mournful songs. So, uh, I'm... I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mama. I'm a sad mom. I'm a sad mom. Very, very, this is twisted. Very disrespectful. What you're engaged in here. <laughs> this is disrespectful of moms in general. <laughs> I want to apologize to all the moms watching. All those mournful moms. All those sad moms. All those mournful <laughs> ass moms. It's like, she saw this like this like otherworldly horror, and but she's not even creative about it. <laughs> what I saw made me sad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna dig up my own grave. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spice of the <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm sweating. I'm laughing. So <laughs> um, oh my god. Okay, so I see this woman. What age is she? Then she sees you. Is she is she older? I mean, your guess is that she's. I mean, what what's your current age? Fourteen. You said fourteen. Oh, that's flashback. Oh, but oh, that, that was, was a flashback. flashback. Yeah, yeah, it was a couple years. Eighteen. You said, 18, oh. right? you said 18? He, when he was eighteen. 18. 18. Declan is your probably your age. Oh, yeah. then eighteen. Yeah, exactly. Um, she looks like she looks like, she looks like she's about twenty two. Nice. Ooh. Did I do anything for you? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Extremely. <laughs> um, I like a multiple of 11 in my women. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> exactly. Well, that's, that's what's required. That shit is divisible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, heard. And so uh, she she goes through uh, string by string as though she's ensconced in some private universe. Um, and then after all four strings are uh, perfected, and she goes over all four of them quickly just to make sure that it's correct, she me? notices you. She notices me? She no- like, like, only then, like only after this mechanical process has come to fruition, mm-hmm. she notices you. Down, da- <laughs> you know, down off of the, and it's just like, it's like fringe, but like the fringe, it isn't even all hanging down. Like correctly, some of it's like over the yes. other fringe. Standing straight up. Straight up. <coughs> <laughs> she, she she looks down off of the the middle tier uh, deck in here, and she says, "Ain't you something?" Oh boy. Uh, and Willow blushes, but she takes her hat off, and puts it um, behind her. That's on a little string. And she says, "You you do that? There's the lady here." Uh, and uh, Willow says, I can see that. <laughs> right, anybody else want to come in? Because that's about that's as perfect no. as the scene can be. <laughs> oh, more of this. No, 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 we'll get back to them. Okay. There's a, trust me, there's a place behind this barn. Rose knows that you and Declan are close. Yeah. Rose oh. likes you. So sure. she's, she's always liked, she's always, she's always known that Declan didn't stand a chance. Um, oh. But she's always liked you, and so she yeah. was like, yeah. It it's, keeps them out of trouble. Sure. Um, and so <clears throat> she uh, she hustles over to you as the, she lets Sheriff Gordon um, unload the, the oh, yeah. heavily he, watered he, down. He will, he will, he, he, he's, uh. he's, he's like, I, I got all these. I know you do. And so I see you and I, I hustle over there. I'm not a, I'm not a, a halfling in this, but I am small. Yeah, and sure. So, but I'm, I'm doing, style. doing my, my old lady hustle over to you. And I, I go, Willa, Willa. <laughs> Will, I'm interrupting this oh, moment. Yeah, hard. and uh, <laughs> Willa doesn't take her gaze off of the woman that she sees, mm-hmm. and she goes, "Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Rose." And I look, I follow your gaze up to this blonde. I'm like, "Mm-hmm. Yep, I know it." <clears throat> Listen, have you seen Declan? And uh, she's still looking up, and she goes, uh, "No, I have not." Ah, <laughs> uh, I was afraid of that. I ain't seen him either. And uh, Willa goes, uh, she takes her gaze away for a second, and um, she goes, which is unfortunate because I need him. You need him, I need him. What do you need him for? Help with the ranch, among other things. What's going on? What's, what's wrong? What's, where's your mama at? Was she, she not helping? Well, you know, she's in a way. I know, I know. I know. She has been, and things y'all, are starting to pile up. Y'all ain't got no hands helping you down there? Is this Declan? It's just me. Just you. Shit, girl. How you doing all that? That's a lot of cattle to handle. Yep. All right, well, you don't know where Declan is. I don't know where Declan is. Nobody's got to know where Declan is. And then Walla looks back up at the woman, and she goes, I don't know, maybe she knows where he is? I should ask her. (laughs) Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you go ask her about where Declan is, honey? And Willow blushes, and she goes, I mean, maybe later. (laughs) <laughs> no, Rose grabs your arm and yanks you over to the blonde woman. She's like, "You're right. She absolutely would know where Declan. If anybody does, look how worldly she is. Let's go talk to her." And Willow Joink. takes her heels in, and she goes, "Nope, no, no, no." <laughs> and so at this point, people are starting to, like, the the place is starting to fill in. There's there is a um, there's that little bit of a of a chill wind, that's sort of seeking out the warm, wholesome places of the earth. Um, as the sun begins to dip down the, the crest. Um, and uh, with four t- massive stomps uh, of her boot to set time mm-hmm. um, uh, against that, that wood, um, she starts to play up in the middle. And then, but 
not, she's never still. She's always, the entire stage is, um, is hers to use. Um, I want to interject real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, when I she want starts you playing, Willow is definitely a wallflower, but because you keep trying to pull her, mm -hmm. she starts to dance with you. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we just. Oh, this is great. We're 100% hoe down. Ho down and. Yeah, she's hoeing like, down. Yeah. we're hoeing down. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's got you. Yeah, okay. the, 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 the music is, is directed as a, as a wholesome beam uh, uh, on this unique dance configuration. <laughs> uh, Blue Hand. Uh, yes. The party has already started. Uh, the party is already here in uh, full swing. I'm outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh man. <laughs> Woof. I'm drinking a milkshake. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you have any milkshakes, <laughs> my good man? <laughs> um, I, I was gonna have uh, Digby setting up a stand next right, to right outside, right? Yeah. Next to wherever Rose was selling stuff. <laughs> Oh, sure. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so you have it all set up outside, but then you got to bring it inside? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she doesn't sell stuff. She gives it away. But it's, oh, it's wherever like, it's being distributed. Okay, it's inside. It's like okay. she's the concession stand. Yeah, like this pump. is a um, adjunct product. Okay. Incredible. Right. Yes. In addition to, and try this incredible water. Yeah. No, it's like... Um, it's like a stool hardener. <laughs> and like anti hardener. Anti incontinence, yeah, to prevent yeah. shitting yourself from pissing your shit. <laughs> That's like binds you up. Does he <laughs> think that everyone has his exact problem? Yes. Yeah. She this did tell true. him that yeah. people hit the floor. So. Stool hardener. Yeah. yeah. But like in this time period, this would be like, what a godsend. Oh, yeah. What a blessing. A stool hardener? My, yeah. Loose, yeah. my loose shits are the death of me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. From now on, we'll make perfect life. Dogs for me. <laughs> now, how might I go about getting some of your refreshment? Um, well, when he sees you, blue hand. Who is blue? Bluish. You're blue. blue. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. You're okay. entirely blue, tip to tail. Everywhere. Which is <laughs> tip to taste. Tip to taint. Well, that's so, where it's, that's where it's richest. Yeah. He gets reserves. excited to see you, but it's a blue freak, because he's just like. My disgusting blue friend, have I got just what you need? And then he like pushes his stool hardeners out of the way and tries to find like curios. Yes. <laughs> How attached are you to being blue? Very much so. Never mind. He <laughs> 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 shuts all his things. It's, it's my entire business. <laughs> see, that's why you took notice of me, isn't it? Oh. Yes. I'm a silver mine expert. I'm a prospector. Been doing it since I was a child. It got into my bloodstream. It's in my skin. That's why I'm this color. But you see, that means I know quite a bit about where to find it, doesn't it? Holy that makes perfect God. sense. <laughs> Just be yeah, that, yes. I guess that. I mean, the logic tracks. Do you like glow brighter when it's around? I wish, <laughs> because I got something <laughs> that could make you. Probably. <laughs> what, is but like so as like for, you're, you seem to be a businessman as well. Oh boy, howdy! <laughs> what, <laughs> uh, tell me a bit about shares. Oh, I have so many things. Thank God you asked me. Uh, so am I the first? Yes. <laughs> uh, a single tear. Yeah. Um, since I got past the Mississippi. Um, so, I don't know, I can't think of any funny ingredients. Pretend I rattle off a bunch of funny old timey ingredients. We'll, uh, we'll edit it in. Turpentine, yeah, we can fix this in post. <laughs> Turpentine, uh... Turpentine, slurpentine, purpentine. Slurpentine. <laughs> uh, Purple time. Various uh, animals and the, the semen they would produce is funny. Bear semen's funny, right? Yeah, bear semen. With a little bit of the cocaine in it. Now this will get you waking up. <laughs> This is Bear jizz right. with cocaine. Cocaine, yeah. Cocaine, yeah. Cocaine, yes, yeah. a South American fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, Very powerful. Very powerful. Mm. They put it in carbonated drinks. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it, it separates. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You gotta keep shaking you gotta shake it. it. Yeah. yeah. Constantly. Constant, contents may settle. <laughs> uh, Disgusting. I, 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 are those bottles of snake oil I see? Yes. I'm kind of surprised that they let you set up business here. You have a keen blue eye, my friend. <laughs> that I do. 
<laughs> color your eyes. They're, so they would be, <laughs> they no, 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 well. <laughs> they're not. Like the whites even would have a tinge to them. Yeah, I get it. Oh, wow, the sclero. A little bit, yeah. This is a real condition. I yeah. It's called Argeria. <laughs> That's correct. Argeria. Yes. Start yelling Absolutely. it to Rose on the dance floor. I it's heard what you said. No. Is this, is this a real condition? It's yeah. a real condition. It's for, for the first time in like 40 years, I'm like, this is a real condition you have? You know very well what it is, Rose. <laughs> yeah, for 40 years, you've just like been too cool to mention it. <laughs> you are I'm, blue. So, I'm so glad we're finally clearing the air about this mm. blue thing. <laughs> uh, you've been far too polite for too long. <laughs> that is, Everybody knows. No one has ever accused me of that. Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah, so yeah. Snake yes, oil. it is snake oil. Keen blue eye, my dazzling sapphire friend. Then what's different Mwah. about it? Hmm? What's different about it? <laughs> that oh, they would let you, you know. stay. <laughs> I've seen men like you tarred and feathered. <laughs> oh, God. And we're moving to the town of promise. Shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> shit! <laughs> Shit! Ah, oh, shit! He starts freaking out. <laughs> oh my god, that was true! That was laughing so hard! Oh god! Shit! Shit! Ah, oh, shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Ah, oh, oh, shit! Dude! <laughs> did, did, do, you, do you tap into some of your goods? Oh my god! Like, yeah. Does it put he you into such, like, like, into such a like state that, that you gotta oh start god. sucking it down? Yeah, he just or maybe like, suck it down like, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. You gotta go <laughs> You gotta help me. <laughs> start oh, guys, you gotta balls. You wanna be part of this. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, <clears throat> look, I mean... Uh, Look, something was supposed to happen, but that's a great place look, to end. That's fine. <laughs> it's gonna happen next time. That's fine. Uh, thank you so much oh, uh, for fast. coming by, uh, hanging out with us, uh, checking out our uh, Call of Cthulhu uh, special condensed season. Uh, thanks so much for rolling through. We'll see you next time.